Jerry's ready to walk because of Maya's talk. She talks to and massages her boobs. How are you doing? I'm fine. So he had a quiet blind date. And if Cindy's breasts could talk, what do you think they would say? I'm attached to a slut. After she gave her date something to talk about. Things took a turn towards basic instinct when she told me that she wasn't wearing any underwear. Will they still be on speaking terms? He talks with his wee-wee. Or will they have a change of heart? What? Welcome to Change of Heart. This is the show where dating couples who've reached a standstill in their relationship go on one blind date with someone new. Now, our couple today, they met working in the same restaurant. She gave him her number, but imagine this, he never called. So she decided to lay one on him in the break room, and he's been laying one on her now for the past seven months. Please welcome Jerry Banks and Maya Akayan. <laughs> Now, you guys are on the show because you're afraid the relationship might be headed back to the break room, I guess. Jerry, let's start with you. What's your biggest concern about the relationship? Well, Chris, actually, my major concern is that Maya may cheat on me with one of her girlfriends. Oh, my God. Come Whoa. on. <laughs> That's a nice way to get things started, but uh, well, Jerry, why would you that. say that? Okay, well, we've had threesomes before, and <laughs> things, <laughs> things just, she seemed to be enjoying them he more than wishes. I do. Really? He, he loved it, but... I, yeah, I, she loved it more than I did. Well, as long as there was a lot of love going around, I don't hear anybody complaining. Yeah! yeah now, was... Maya, basically, are you pretty committed to Jerry so he make him yes, uh, not feel I'm like that? Yes, I'm very committed to him, but he hasn't fully committed himself to me yet. Oh, uh, no, that's not true. It's just, I have been in, in a relationship in the past, and well, I kind of got... Like I feel a little like I'm here for convenience for you. No, it's not. I've just got you know. I'm a little wary. I don't want to jump into a relationship where I could get hurt again. So I'm just taking things oh, poor baby. one Come step on. at a time. Jerry's you know? a little gun shy, but Maya, you want to go to the I'm, next level. Yeah, I'm all ready for it. He's yeah. the one. Now, Jerry, we've all been hurt before, but are you holding back and not telling us something we don't know? Well, the 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 deal is that um, Maya's got some the ultimate baggage. She's been married oh, before, okay. and she has a child. Just add wedding ring and boom, there you, you've already got a family. So, How can you know. You, that hurts me. How can you say that? But that's a reasonable concern. Right. What if the dad part? comes back? He's always going to be a part of that Are picture. Are you insecure? <laughs> well, Maya, what about the fact that he may be worried about the ex? What about his exes? Do you worry about them? Oh, my God. He keeps a drawer full of pictures of them. They're just looking at me every day. No. What are they, like a trophy collection? No. And not. my picture's in the same drawer. No. Well, it's like, it, it, I don't have a scrapbook, so all the pictures I take, I just go into one drawer. Just they're All the pictures are of my friends, trash. my family, my trash. relatives. Just trash. What, my trash. mom, pictures of my dad, everybody. So it's just a big drawer. Big drawer of pictures. Of pictures. All right, well, let's lighten things up a little bit here, Jared. Now, I, I understand that Maya has somewhat of an unusual habit. Tell oh, them about Chris. that. Chris. Unusual is to put it mildly. Chris, she talks to and massages her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they talk back. They the talk back. Said you have to massage him. Really? Have to, like, that must be some they, interesting they, conversation. Oh, you can. How are you doing? I'm fine. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Maya, well, I was going to ask, does he make anything of his yeah, talk? Yeah, he, he talks, he, yeah. More than a hand puppet. <laughs> he talks to him with his wee-wee. You know? yeah. Oh! <laughs> wait. And now, wait, Jerry, since you're both making parts of your anatomy talk, that's one thing. Anything else that you guys have in common? Yeah, actually, we both are really into fitness. Um, mm -hmm. we, we take care of our bodies the same way. And as a matter of fact, the, uh, like the, the first night we met, we stayed together, um, I woke up it's, the it's next morning, night. and um, she made me an egg white omelet with oatmeal and a protein shake. Hey, how like, about that, huh? I knew. Let's hear it for the protein. She was like, for her to do that, and knowing that that's what I enjoy. She, that's very she, important. I didn't know that. He All right, amazing. well, that's very important. Now, Maya, what about the things that are different about the two of you? What stands out? Oh, my God. His taste in music. Oh, my God. He loves country. He loves the Backstreet Boys. Oh. He turns up. Jerry! Oh, okay, okay. Debbie so, Gibson, come on, baby. All right, all right. Oh. I, just ask Jerry this question, and not that I'm making any accusations. We already know that uh, Maya swings both ways. So you're talking about the Backstreet Boys and stuff. You don't happen to. Whoa, uh, wait a second, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. Just check it. I told him it's okay if he does. Okay. No. I'll watch, I'll watch. Maya, 
Maya wouldn't mind. She wants to watch. I know that's the problem. No, I have some, I have gay friends. And I believe in gay rights, but there's not enough alcohol on this planet okay. to make me swing that way. Maya, why are you here today? Tell us about this. Well, I'm here because. I have a son to worry about, and I want him to have a positive role model, and I want to make sure Jerry's the white run. All right, we're going to find out if he is the right one or not. Uh, when we come back, we're going to see how Jerry's date fit into the picture, so to speak, so stay with us. <laughs> We're here with Jerry and Maya. Now, Jerry says Maya's a bisexual bandit with talking breasts and excess baggage. So, we set him up with a babe who prefers her dates have testosterone, puts her breasts on mute, and says any baggage that she had was removed by her plastic surgeon. Please welcome Cindy Bestman. I gotta start with you. And, and, and if Cindy's breasts could talk, what do you think they would say? I'm attached to a slut. Oh! <laughs> to know. Okay, Jerry, let's go back to the beginning here. Square one. How did she come across on the phone when you talked to her? Because uh, uh, she was very articulate. Mm -hmm. She's obviously a, a well educated <laughs> girl. Right. Um, we had a lot in common. We, we chatted for, for quite some time, just got to know each other. All right, well, Cindy, okay. obviously you made a good first impression. Did Jerry? Yeah, he did on the phone, but when the date actually arrived, he showed up about four hours late. Four hours? <laughs> I called, I called, I called. I, uh, he did, but I did think that showed a lack of respect. Yeah, uh, four hours is a, a little bit of a problem starting up the date. Now, when you finally got there, were you happy that it was worth it? Yeah, it was definitely worth it. She opened up the door. She was wearing these tight jean shorts. Standard. And a uh, tight little top. She's very beautiful, blonde hair, great body, and uh, she looked like a little Barbie doll. So you were all excited. Okay, so she's dressed like that. Then what did you do with her? Well, I took her. <laughs> I worked her out, Chris. <laughs> I uh, took her to the gym. We went to went to a Gold's gym in Hollywood, and we uh, did a little training together. All right, so Cindy, you're at the gym at the beginning of your date. I'm sure you were checking him out, were you? Yes, I was. And uh, right before he took off his sweatshirt, he said, "It's time to show off." And then uh, he took off his sweatshirt, and I thought he was really cut. Oh, give him really a big introduction out. too, and you like that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so I was a little egotistical, but. So what about the major muscle groups? Did they get a good workout, Cindy? Yeah, and uh, while I was exercising, he came up and gave me a spank on my glutes. So. Oh. <laughs> big deal. A spank on the glutes. Yeah, did it move? <laughs> now Maya, there they are at the gym, uh, you know, touching and spanking and everything. How do you feel that they were out there doing that? Oh, uh, I trust them. You trust them? Yeah, I totally trust them. It doesn't bother you. Okay, that's a Definitely good thing. Definitely not. <laughs> so, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, was the, was the whole date at the gym or did you do something else? No, after after um, after we finished working out, we went um, went back to her house and uh, we showered and changed. Showered s s together or? No, no. We, oh, okay. we showered, we showered uh, separately. Uh, se uh, separately, but was there some um, compromising positions going uh, on? It I think when I was, she was coming out of the shower and I was getting into the shower, like she had a towel on, I just had shorts and I was getting in. And she like came across the room and she gave me a hug and a kiss and she's like, well, I'm glad things are going well. Well, and, well you're in the middle of the bathroom half naked, how bad could things be going? Jeez. All right, well, Cindy, uh, why there right in the middle of the bathroom that provoked that kiss? Um, just to piss his girlfriend off, first of all. <laughs> that's uh, real. That's a real respect. Thank you. He kept asking me, um, if my lips were as soft as they looked and how luscious they looked. Oh, they're really and... real, too. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> and how, um, if my ex-boyfriend loved kissing them. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd let him find out for himself. And Jerry, how were those lips? Um, uh, they Sucker, were bet, firm right? and... Uh, they uh, very like exotic, hard. <laughs> they, they, they did the job, Chris. How, how, who has hard lips? Aren't you well, scared of, like, puncturing just... them? What... <laughs> <laughs> it was very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so you guys are all cleaned up, showering out of the bathroom. Cindy, where'd you go then? Then we went to a very romantic restaurant, and each table had its own little private tent. So, Jerry, you're there, you're at dinner. Did you find out if she was also carrying baggage that you were concerned about? Fortunately, yeah. uh, Chris, she, ha she has no, no baggage. We have a lot of things in common. Both of our parents, are, we come from educated families. Um, 
we, we like the same kind of music. We, we, um, we have the same things in common, diet. She's really got the, the whole package, brains and looks. It's, it's nice. <laughs> so you liked everything about it. Very nice. Okay, Cindy, anything else that uh, he might have left out that you had in common? Yeah, I also keep pictures of my exes, too, because I'm not oh, insecure great. and ignorant um, and 22. Ooh. So 22. I don't usually rifle through my boyfriend's drawers. That shows well, you a look really about big your age sign too. of insecurity. <laughs> but then again, I would be, too, if... Maya, do you, I like that. Maya, do you feel your insecure? Maya, do you feel you're insecure? Definitely not insecure, mm -hmm. if I can put up with that. <laughs> sure. Okay, Jerry, let's go back to the date for here uh, for a moment. So you guys had dinner. That was nice. Student, then you where'd you go? Um, we actually, neither of us are into the big partying scene like Maya is, so we just she rented like a movie. She's probably been through it already. <laughs> so you rented a movie. Yeah, we just went back to her house and watched a movie. Back with the VCR, something yeah, comfortable. Yeah, just hang out on the couch and just watch Now, Maya, you still feel like you can trust him? Here they were back at her place Definitely with a movie. Definitely can trust him, especially with that. Yeah, Definitely. she was probably out with her girlfriend. <laughs> All right, now, Jerry, Confused the two about of you had, uh, Jerry, I have to ask, because the two of you had so many things in common, was there anything that you, you know, were different on? Well, um, I guess, although Cindy's very um, <laughs> educated, sometimes she comes across as a little ditzy. Mm -hmm. and, um, and she does collect Barbie dolls, so her whole house is decorated, like, with Barbie dolls, and that maybe shows you... Like, like walking into Toys R Us. Cindy, so what about the movie? Did you, did you enjoy the movie? Yes, I enjoyed it very much. It was a really fun movie, and uh, we sat and enjoyed each other as well. There was some kissing and snuggling, cuddling, and I tried to ask him about his girlfriend, and he would not even say one word about her, drop the subject. Wouldn't talk um, about her at all? Nope. Had nothing to say Probably about her. Because he was too busy thinking about me. Yeah. <laughs> so <right>. Maya, <laughs> Maya, they, she said they were really comfortable thinking about and, dumping and, you. and doing a little kissing oh, on the couch. Yeah, sure. uh, dumping me for you? For <laughs> anyone. Okay. Uh, coming up next, we're going to find out what Maya and her talking Twin Peaks had in store on their date. So stay here. <laughs> heard what happened on Jerry's date with Cindy. Now we're going to meet the man that Maya dated. Maya says that Jerry should take some advice from his favorite group, the Backstreet Boys, and quit playing games with her heart. <laughs> so we set her up with a stud who says commitment is key and that the Backstreet Boys bite. Please welcome Roy Wilson. <laughs> Jerry, what do you think? How, how's the competition size up? Uh, Chrissy looks a little skinny to me. Actually. Skinny, okay. Maya, what about you? Were you looking forward to your date? Oh, actually, I was not looking forward to this date. He, we had talked on the phone, and he said he was a Marine, so I was picturing this, like, jarhead, skinhead-looking <laughs> guy, and, and I came to the door with no makeup on, or... There he was. <laughs> Well, what's the matter? So you were, you were like, not trying to put an effort forward? Because oh, you no, was not at be... all. I was not looking forward to it at all. Uh -huh. and, um, so then what happens when you open the door and he's there? Oh, I saw him, and I, like, ran back into the room, put on my makeup. and You came... ran back into <laughs> the room? I ran back into the room. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, obviously, because she liked what she saw. Right, Maya? Definitely. Hot tea. Hot tea. Okay, so, Roy, what about you? She comes to the door, no makeup. What were you thinking? Well, I thought she, uh, she's got a great body. I mean, just look at her. Uh, she works out very hard. And, uh, yeah, you weren't looking at her eyeliner, I guess. Uh, well, she's done a great job. Uh, and Roy, did you get to meet the family that she has a little boy? I definitely did. I met Tristan. Uh, fantastic kid, well behaved. Uh, we just sort of hung out and bonded. And, um, oh, Lord. Yeah, so that's good. He was that's very polite. Nice. He, he introduced himself uh -huh. and, and played with the. Played all right, well, the dog. then, Roy, what happened after that? Well, the rest of her family came pouring into the house. And uh, there's kids. Family from everywhere. Kids rolling all over the place, and dog was going crazy. It was complete chaos. And, and Maya, did he do okay since there were so many oh, people? Oh, he held up great. He introduced himself. He was very gentleman, polite. I was very impressed. All right, so now that you get to know him a little bit, what was the first thing that you realized you guys had in common? Oh, we walked, we walked out of the house, and I was like, where's your car? And like, he had his car parked right next to mine, and it was the exact same car, exact color, oh, that's, exact that's, year, that's, and everything. Yeah. It, was, it was great. It was funny. Yeah, Roy, that's a little Twilight Zone-ish, wouldn't you say? It is, okay. sort of, but um, things took a turn towards basic instinct <laughs> when she told me that she wasn't wearing any underwear. <laughs> Why 
Yeah. Was she at least wearing oh, pants? Yeah, dollar pump me. Actually, yeah, uh, you wouldn't actually know. she wasn't wearing pants. She was wearing a really short skirt. Short skirt with no with underwear. no pants. That's okay, that's actually. a different kind of look for Maya on her date. <laughs> on her first date, no panties. Mm -hmm. It wasn't nice. a see-through skirt. You didn't know. She looked very classy. Thank you. All right, Maya, <laughs> did you learn anything about Roy's past relationships? Yes, he said he was um, in a long relationship and he stayed faithful, and I was very impressed by that. <laughs> now, Roy. She t uh, you told her about your past. Did she talk about her past? Actually, she did uh, bring up Jerry a lot. Uh, I give her credit. She's, um, she's very committed to him. Committed? Yes. Well, Cindy says insecure. No. Now, Jerry, she was, she, I guess she was saying nice things about you. So how's that make you well, feel? Well, it, it makes me feel good that she was saying nice things about me. I should have But on the other service. hand, she was saying nice things about me wearing no panties. <laughs> <laughs> You had to listen to all these things about Jerry. Did that bother you, though? Because you were actually out and interested in Maya. No, it didn't really bother me. Uh, what sort of bothered me was the more she uh, spoke about uh, Jerry, just sort of, I got the impression that they're somewhat superficial and that appearance is a very important thing. For both of them, you're saying? Yes. Oh, right, so you sensed on that. So, Maya, you're thinking about Jerry a little bit, but what about the fact you're out with Roy? Do you ever think about giving into some other temptation? Well... We were playing pool, and he was taking a shot, and I kind of, you know, got a glimpse of his bubble butt, and, you know. <laughs> so I, sense, I did it, I did it. it uh -huh. Sent your mind wandering a little bit. All right, Maya, what about his musical taste? Because we heard about Jerry's poor choices. Oh, we, we love the same music. We had the station set, same, and he doesn't like country, and I didn't have to listen to the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> and, There's no Debbie Gibson. And, um, uh, <laughs> so did and you he go... has this, like, very sexy dance. You know, we were doing... The, so you guys went dancing? We were grooving on the dance floor. You know, he was... <laughs> <laughs> what is that all yeah, about? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't get enough. Very cute. Uh, very now, cute. Roy, I hope you got her mind off Jerry at some point here tonight. Uh, not completely, but uh, she did tell me all night long that she was totally into me. And so at the end of the night, I wasn't really totally sure. Totally into him. <laughs> Definitely, he's gorgeous. Look at him. Yeah. Yeah. So now, uh, a little mixed signals going on here. I, was, I wasn't really sure where I stood at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. So Maya, where did he stand at the end of the night by the time things were over? Well, I was definitely dreading the date, but he obviously, it turned out great. He's a very gorgeous guy, and we had a good time. So he redeemed himself then from the beginning to the end, I guess. Yeah. All oh, right. And Maya, how did you leave things? Well, um, he walked me to the door, and I gave him a big hug, and he gave my little cat a kiss goodnight, and she told me how it was in the morning. <laughs> my pussy cat. Oh, how my nice. My cat. Uh, so he kissed your little pussy cat. All yeah. right. Gotcha. <laughs> now, we'll see if that gave Maya and Jerry a change of heart when we come back, so make sure you're here with us. Stay tuned. back here with Jerry and Maya. Now, as you remember, Maya's searching for commitment while Jerry's battling his fear of commitment. So that's what we're dealing with here. And Jerry, we're going to get your decision first. Obviously, you care a lot about Maya, but you are afraid of that instant family factor that you talked about earlier. You had a great time when you went out with Cindy. What do you say? Um, well, it's true. Maya and I have our differences. And, and Cindy, we have a lot in common. Um, but seeing Maya out on her date uh, made me realize how much I care about her. In fact... I love her, and um, I'd be crazy to, to let her go, and I, I feel like I'm probably one of the luckiest guys alive to have such a great girlfriend. She's sweet, she's kind. So, she's, uh, he I, says... I'd be crazy not to stay together. Obviously, stay together. Okay, Cindy, sorry, things didn't work out for you. All right, Maya, let's get your decision. Now, you came here because you said you wanted a positive role model for your son. That was one of the things that was important. Uh, you went out with Roy. You had a great time. He and the boy hit it off. Jerry does say he wants to stay together. What do you say? Well, um, Roy. Gorgeous, gorgeous Roy. <laughs> great guy. We had a great time. And um, I could definitely see myself being with someone like you. But, Jerry, I've met my match. And I want to spend my life with you. So you say stay together. All right, Roy. Sorry, I think didn't work out for you. Congratulations, Maya and Jerry, and hopefully by coming on here, you guys can see that you're meant to be, and things will work out a little bit better for you. That is our show for today. Thanks a lot to Cindy and Roy. Good luck to Maya and Jerry. We'll see you next time on Change of Heart.